All right, well, we've been moving around for about the last 45 minutes trying to outrun this rain. We can't seem to get away from it. It's everywhere. It's covered on the radar. So I guess we're going to do a little diving. This is it's just sprinkling right now, but uh, we can't really fish and it's tough to film. So we're going to go underneath the water and shoot them. What are we going to expect here, Ben? Uh, out here in the middle grounds, you expect in the summertime to see a lot of snapper, mm -hmm. uh, possibly some nice hogfish. Red groupers are very prevalent. Occasionally there's some nice gags. Amberjacks. Um, so everything. Yeah, <laughs> basically good. everything. Uh, I want a big hogfish, so hopefully that's get a really big hogfish that's down the goal. there. That's why the yeah. divers come to the middle grounds is for big giant hogfish. All my clients, that's all they want, big hogs. So we're gonna go, go see if we can find one. For those of you who don't know Ben, he's a commercial spear fisherman. He's also our underwater cameraman and helps us around the boat a lot all the time. So he knows this area, he's always out here. And this isn't a spot I guess he normally dives too much, but since we're just kind of avoiding the rain, we're gonna go ahead and drop down on this spot and see what we come up with. As soon as I dropped in the water, I seen that big hogfish and he's headed straight for his rocks. So he went down in that hole and I kind of circled it a little bit and I couldn't see him at first and then I finally seen him crammed way up in there and the shot I took actually made my spear go through the rock so I lost that shaft but we ended up working that hogfish out of the hole and then we ended up getting him and moved on to the next fish. After I shot that first hogfish, I looked around and I saw a red grouper right in front of me so I took the shot on him. He was a good 24, 25 inch fish. So we got him strung up and then I didn't focus on any more grouper, none of the mangrove snapper that were down there. I just started looking just for the hogfish. About a minute later, we ran into a decent hogfish. I shot him and uh, strung him up. Started swimming around for another five minutes or so and didn't see any more hogfish. So I went ahead and gave Ben the signal to head up. When I popped up out of the water and pulled that hogfish up and showed it to the guys in the boat, it was a classic reaction. I mean, they were all like, whoa, no way, look at that, no. Dude. No, no, wow, uh-uh, you're kidding me. Look at the size of that, bro. So I got up on the boat, showed the fish off a little bit, and uh, kind of explained to him what happened. Yeah, the hogfish went under the rock, and I shot it right in there. But these are some nice ones. Woo! Nice day. Daddy, I'm telling you. Dude. Captain Ben sure can't put you on some hogs now. They're the only two we've seen down there. They're big ones, that's for sure. That's why we come out here. Woo. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. A lot of mangrove snappers down there, but that's what we were after right there. Big hogfish. He was right there at the dive lead waiting for us. Yeah, he's actually getting kind of heavy. <laughs> it's a nice fish, Man. dude. Yep. Well, fine, guys. Beautiful fish. That is why Look we come out. Get a mouth here. on that thing. I can stick my head in it. <laughs> it's huge. All right. After we got those fish on ice, we only had to move about a quarter mile to our second stop. All right, we've had a little change in plans today. We had some weather come last night. It stopped our fishing early. It got rained on. Um, it got pretty rough out here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a couple dives today, see what we can shoot, and we're going to head in early. I'm shooting the Ocean Rhino RX-5. It's definitely power, powerful enough for any grouper down there, but we're really looking for the big hogfish. So we're gonna see what Captain Ben can put us on. He's stopped on another spot out here that's supposed to be holding some good hogs, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go shoot another fish in the face. That first dive, we passed up a bunch of amberjack and mangrove snapper and grouper. We only saw one hogfish, so I took a shot on him, got him, and came straight back up. 
after we came up from that first dive, it just kept getting darker and darker, and the rain kept closing in on us more and more, so Ben and I decided that we were gonna make one more dive, and then we were gonna head in. That's what it's all about. All right, so making sure he's clear. See you when I see ya. When I start descending through the water on that last dive, I see the biggest hogfish I've ever seen in my life. And he ducks right in the rocks, just like that big hogfish did the first day. He kind of ducked down in the rocks and disappeared. And I looked all over through those rocks for him. I was laid out flat with my head up underneath the reef, trying to see that hogfish. And I finally get an angle where I can actually see the fish and he kind of pops up out of the rock a little bit, just enough for me to get a shot on him, and I take the shot, and I hit him, and then my struggle is pulling him back out of the rocks. I finally work that fish out a little bit, and I pull him out of the rocks, and I mean, he has so much power, and I hit what I thought was a kill shot, and he comes out and he kicks my regulator out of my mouth, he's swimming all over the place still, So I pull my Cressy dive knife out and I finish him off. And I mean, I'm just so excited when I get that fish. I'm kind of cheering underwater actually, because I knew that that fish was gonna be a trophy when I got him on the boat and got some pictures of him. On that last dive, Ben said go ahead and shoot as many mangrove snapper and grouper that you can and go ahead and try to finish off our limit because we weren't going to do any more dives and we were going to head in. Don't focus just on the hogfish. I would shoot a mangrove snapper, then Ben would shoot one, then I would shoot a grouper, then Ben would shoot one. It was back and forth for quite a while where both of us were just shooting fish, just kind of meat hunting for the rest of that dive. At one point, Ben just went ahead and put his camera down and quit filming. He just set it on the sand and just kept shooting fish. And then we made our way up and uh, kind of showed off the prize catch that we had. And it was a good way to finish off our trip in the middle grounds. That was the big hogfish we got. He went down in a hole and I could barely see him. I had just enough of him where I could get a good shot on him. And I thought he was going to get stuck, but I managed to pull him out. We can get him on the boat up here and see what he goes. Let's see. It's my biggest hogfish ever been. It's over nice. 19 pounds. Nice fish. Oh as as my gosh. Out. My biggest hogfish right there by far. 19 pound hogfish. I mean, this is what you can expect in the middle ground. I mean, sometimes this is better than fishing in my opinion. Gosh, it's like the, the struggle to get them out of the rocks and everything else we did. We came up with a limit of gags. We got some nice mangoes while we were down there. Incredible dive. 15 minutes down, come up with a bunch of fish. Gosh, what a day. That was a good dive right there. That was awesome. Oh yeah, thank you, man. I saw you pull them up and you were screaming and yelling and all I, excited. That's, that's the best right there. You take your <laughs> friends, you take your family out fishing, diving. You go get trophy fish. And when they get that big, notice how he wasn't out in the open. He saw us coming. He straight went to his down. Home. Straight down. He went hiding. We wouldn't have seen him on the way down. We may have never seen him. No. I mean, imagine how many we missed that we could have seen. Never would have known it. Yep. They're, they don't get big because they're stupid. Nope, not at all. All right. What a way to conclude our day in the middle grounds. Big hogfish. Whew. Good as it gets right there. <laughs> Absolutely as good as it gets. You ready for a three hour ride in? Go home. <laughs> <All> right, <man. laughs>